Hey guys, welcome back to EdMTB TV. Today, I'm gonna to show you something special. I've just bought something, got myself a new lid, a little peek. Boom, in a bizzle. Hey, hello, welcome, welcome. So, a new helmet. Happy days. So basically, um, I thought to myself, I need to do something new because I've had my MTB hat for over a year now. I think I needed something, um, something more funky, a bit more, um, I think a little bit more safety feature in it as well. Um, so I hunted around. There's, uh, there's quite a lot of helmets to choose from, so I didn't really know which one to go for. So, I went for this brand. Puck. Sorry. Puck. I said it like a chicken again. Puck. So, I think it's a Swedish brand. Um, first thing I noticed when I saw this, um, was how smart it looks but when I received it on the post this thing is actually quite light um, hardly any weight to it so here it is so it's only like a little hole at the back pull it out and there it reveals the helmet comes in a little helmet bag so check it out check it check it Here it is. Ain't that a thing of beauty? Beautiful. So, I went for the black and white because uh, I like things that are quite simple or otherwise is known as a hydrogen. <laughs> otherwise known as a hydrogen white or, and well, that's hydrogen white and you got the uranium black matte color at the back, which looks awesome. There we go. Um, so it comes with all these fancy tags with all different kind of features that comes with a helmet. Now, I've never seen so many technology on one helmet. I initially just went for the design, of the helmet really. And then I did see all these little logos and all these kind of things at the back and all this stuff. I'll have a little brief explanation because there's a lot of videos out there that explains exactly what they are, but I'll just briefly go through it. Um, so first thing that I saw was you had these Aramid bridges. So it basically just shows you what the inside of the helmet looks like. Um, and also you've got this little symbol with like a little ray thing on it. This is what you call an NFC ID chip, which is basically um, stores all your medical information but to be honest, um, I'm gonna have my phone with me all the time. I've got my medical information on my phone, so I might not need any help for that. Um, they also, another safety feature that I saw was this Reco technology that they got going now. Um, it's otherwise known as a Reco re reflector. It's a, it's a passive responder. Um, it requires actually no power at all to activate, to activate it. Um, so it basically just lets emergency services to locate um, to find out where you are if you have a crash. Um, so yeah, that, I thought that looks quite cool. Um, the overall design is very smart. I know that the back here, the top here, slides up. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that slides up, which enables you to put maybe your sunglasses or your MTB goggles or something like that. Anyway, it goes back forward. I just can't be asked to do it now. Um, so yeah, so the other designs of it is how ventilated this whole helmet is because if you look at it you've got all this helmet you've got all this ventilation at the back 
so you stay nice and cool and you've got all this nice ventilation at the top and also at the front here god that looks like doesn't that look like to you iron man another thing that i saw was this mips so i knew that i had to get a helmet with mips but this one they've actually upgraded their MIPS system so this one is the MIPS Integra um, which is I suppose the newer version of MIPS I think um, so basically the Integra, this Integra version it has a thing what you call a molded in EPS liner which is otherwise known as an expanded polyesterine I can't even pronounce the word molded poly polyesterine polyester whatever um, and also um, it basically just helps reduce force on your head upon impact so anyway so that's it um, it's a really cool helmet um, I'm gonna try and obviously try and test it out when I go on my next ride um, it's so light I might not even feel it on my head um, but the other thing I have noticed about this is how protected you are for even for a half face helmet because at the back it's more or less sort of goes down the back of your neck and here just just sort of goes down your temple um, so I like the overall design I think I'm pretty chuffed now uh, I'm gonna go and ride my bike and feel good that's what it's all about feel good so anyway so say, don't know what else to say. So I'm glad I got this helmet um, because it's just got some serious amount of tech, and I love it. Anyway, anyway, that's it for me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.